Hi guys, welcome to another poly process video. This one's using the March Kits Fimit Leaves. This kit had a lot of Amy Tangerine Plus One and um, some new Studio Calico, Maggie Holmes, and yeah, even some Amy Tangerine exclusives. So it's a really cool kit and it was nice and bright and colourful. I really enjoyed working with it. Um, I pulled a piece of white cardstock from my own supplies for this layout and some vellum, which you'll see later on. Um, I really enjoy using white cardstock as a base these days and adding smaller amounts of pattern to it. So I've just cut the cardstock a little bit smaller than the background. I think it might have been either 11 and a half or 11 inch square. And then I cut some pieces from the pattern paper included in the kit and some of my own vellum. I also added some Heidi Swap Black Velvet Colour Shine Mist for some ink dots on the background. I just used normal double sided tape for the vellum because it was used for layering so most of it was covered up anyway. So I'm just in the process of making all my layers. I think I used about five layers and then put the photo on top. I find that the vellum really helps to soften down any more bold patterns. So if you have a pattern paper that you're a little bit worried about using because it's very bold um, in design, it's worthwhile trying to use some vellum just to soften the pattern a little. The doily I think was from once again my own little bits and pieces, it was an off cut from somewhere. I use that as part of my layer. I didn't know what I was doing with this, I sort of was winging it as I went so it's a little bit stop starty here and there. I placed my titles and the Amy Tangerine thick is on the packet so I could move them around and decide where I wanted to place them. I'm not sure if I mentioned it, this is just my, I'm scrapbooking my son's one month photo. He's two months old now so I'm trying to take a photo on the 6th of each month because he was born on the 6th of February. So I can, uh, on the same chair in his nursery with his sock monkey, so I can sort of show his growth every month and by the end of the year I'll have 12. So I've just been including these pages in his Project Life album with the Project Life pages because I don't want two separate albums and I'm quite happy to incorporate all um, Project Life and traditional scrapbooking in the one album. Here I decided to use the Amy Tangerine embroidery template in the more cursive font that she has and I was writing, well stitching my son's name which unfortunately, oh, I did decide to move this up because at this point I realised that it wasn't going to fit underneath the thicker title. So I was moving everything up, I decided where I wanted it and at some point here the video does cut out and you don't get to see me stitching this word because the battery on my camera died, so I do apologise, but you'll get the point of what I'm doing. And I made a big boo-boo here. I actually managed to, when using the paper piercer, pierce my tabletop on my dining table which my partner doesn't actually know about at the moment because I've covered it up with a table runner because I'm too scared to tell him. So you can see little um, holes in the shape of an E on our dining table. But hey, it adds character.
So I chose a blue thread to stitch the title with, which matches some of the elements that I'm going to add later on. There we go, so that was where it cut out and you can see now the finished stitch title. I love that font, it's so cool. It gives it a good homemade touch. So now I'm just going to add the embellishments. This one, the Today was from the Dear Lizzie book and the pull out one tag is from the printables made by Amanda for Polly this month. One obviously um, is significant for his one month photo. So I'm just going to have that so I can pull it out and add some journaling to it. So I'm just adding little bits and pieces and layering them in from the kit embellishments. I love the cork hearts, they're cute. And the star wood veneer. I've got about three packets of those in my stash now. I love them because they're so versatile for all layouts. And that is just a little tab that I hand cut on my, or didn't hand cut it, I made up my silhouette cameo. It's actually cut from um, wood veneer sheeting made by Express It, which is really fun to work with. And I have shown a little um, review on that in another YouTube video on my channel. So feel free to check it out. These are all, the stars were from the Poly Printables this month as well. I just cut them out to use on my page. Here I just date stamped the layout with March the 6th because that was one month after he was born. That was just a little close up and then I decided after this that I would stitch the title on the left side down because I'm, I'm quite aware of the fact that thickers don't have the greatest adhesives and so I do like to stitch them down just to make sure they're going to stick with which you can see now I stitched a few elements down so I hope you enjoyed watching this process video and I can't wait to share some more poly layouts thank you bye